Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Create Your Connections Readings. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a reading. Uh, if you resonate with the title and the message, why? So let's see what's happening. Okay, let's do like that. Self. Of course. It's never, oh, you're about to win the lottery. It's always like, you need to focus on self. You need to, like, mm hmm, yeah, okay. So, we have the Nine of Fire, and we have the Eight of Cups. <laughs> you know, I, I do need to say, though, like, if you resonate with the previous collective, I do feel like you are walking away, okay? You're walking away from some kind of... I'm even hearing, for some of you, you're walking away from some kind of bittersweet energy, okay? Uh, I feel like you're walking away from this wounded warrior energy, basically, collective. I think you are choosing yourself and you're smiling in the face of adversity there is what I'm feeling and seeing. Okay, look at that. Uh, amidst the unknown, amidst the like darkness and the, the ocean and the hoo hoo energy, you're like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like you finally are releasing some kind of mask of yourself. Five of air, the mother, you know, and the ten of air. I feel like you're finally releasing some kind of mask of yours in regards to how choice, in regards to how it is that you, um, like, I, I feel like approach life and approach people, approach, um, like, I'm even hearing, like, like the way you, you, um, express yourself or the, or what you express, okay? Like, I feel like, like, uh, if, if, if you, if you seem sickly, uh, if you seem sickly one day, like, you're not going to try and cover it up. If you seem sad one day, you're not going to try and cover it up or something like that. Um, all of a sudden, though, I, I'm getting some kind of hidden energy here. Uh, for some of you, you might still be in an energy of trying to hide something. I didn't feel like that, though. This immediately gave me a walking away energy. So maybe you're, you're, you're walking away from hiding, uh, yourself. Like, well, that's just what I, that's what I just said with the whole mask thing, right? Um, yes, I like that. Let's, let's go with that. King of Wands, yeah, you're taking back your action. And instead of like staying in this Nine of Wands energy, you're walking towards your, like embodying this King of Cups energy because you are a King of uh, Wands energy because you were in some kind of battle here. You're in some kind of competition or drama or something like that, okay? With that Five of Wands. Some kind of bullshit. Some kind of bullshit. And now I'm seeing the Nine of Cups reversed with the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, walking away from, that is also what that bittersweet energy gave me. Walking away from something that is like not up to par for you or walking away uh, from something that is just requiring too much of you is what I'm also feeling here, okay? Like it's more bitter than sweet in in, in reality or something, okay? Nine of Wands again, Jesus. Yeah, I feel like this this is some kind of bullshit energy that um you're just not meant to be dealing with. Exactly, Five of Pentacles reverse. Like you need to be um you need to be putting this actually in 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 out in the cold. Um, you might be feeling left out in the cold, but again, I feel like that's what you're also walking away from, being like, wait a fucking minute, like. Like, you the bitterness, I'm the sweetness, but, like, <laughs> like you give more bitter than I can give sweet, I feel. Like, somebody somebody or something is just giving a lot of a lot of uh, bitter energy or a lot of um, wounded energy that you don't really want, right? That you should be walking away from, I feel. The high priestess in reverse, the star reverse, yeah. And the devil, oh, my God. The star reverse, seven of swords reverse, and the devil, the six of cups. But then again, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like this Nine of Wands energy, this situation, this person is also you because we do still have the self card there. This is you like, um, maybe keeping yourself stuck. In, in some kind of Nine of Wands energy as well, by not completely expressing it or not completely, um, I'm even hearing living up to, living up to something. I just heard some, somebody say something about living up to their reputation or something. I don't know what that's about. Um, that was with the high priestess in reverse, but I feel like you're walking away from that because even if you are a high priestess, you're still a human being, right? Even if you are some kind of God or goddess, you're like still somebody or something with emotions and shit like that. Um, and I feel like you're starting to just be like, yeah, 
yeah. Um, I'm hearing that song. But when's the last time you saw a pop star spiral? Uh, <laughs> that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. But like, it's not that you're spiraling downwards. I just feel like you're walking away from giving a fuck about spiraling or something like that, maybe even, okay? Which gives you some kind of like profound knowledge and power with the dark feminine energy is what I feel here as well, okay? <clears throat> I'm a fallen angel and I hit you with my halo Smiling in your face cause I'm mentally unstable That's what I'm hearing with the star reverse here, okay? Three of pentacles, let's, let's, let's do this again. <clears throat> so I don't necessarily feel like this is some kind of outside situation that's causing the burden. Five, five, five. It might be. But like, I feel like you're going to be realizing anyway that that outside situation is a reflection of you not having boundaries or um, consistently wanting to please or um, just not allowing yourself to show who you are and how you feel and shit like that. Okay. We have the King of Cups reverse. We have the King of Pentacles. Interesting. I do need to say, Collective, this is almost giving me even this energy of, like, you walking away from having some kind of emotional vulnerability. But, like... <laughs> Um, like, but not like in a bad way. I feel like you're about to um, set more firmer boundaries, especially with this nine of wands. Like, like you're you're about to like like set proper boundaries, especially in regards. I feel like to your heart space and to your emotional body. Okay, um, I feel like you're uh, the King of Pentacles. I heard like you're going to be watering your garden instead. Um, which is actually giving me giving me the exact opposite message of the previous collective I'm now feel I'm now remembering because that was about like opening up a little bit more to the world and going out into the world. Well, I, I guess you can still do that. I'm just saying you're gonna be much more um I don't know, like maybe not like your heart, but I don't know, like it's it's like just your energy is becoming much more um like mm -mm. Uh, but not like that, just like, because mm, it's not a, in a mean way. What am I feeling? It's like your energy is becoming much stronger for uh, against infiltration is actually what I want to say. Instead of you being in this King of Cups energy of like, you know, love and like, you're going to be in a King of Pentacles energy of being like, uh, I don't want to say what do you have to offer. I, it's, it's just this energy of like, like approach me like well <laughs> if that makes sense okay but again not in a bad way the sun i feel like you understand what i'm saying though so let's continue ace of swords reverse i i was just thinking like like again not not taking like some kind of bullshit but it doesn't feel completely like that though and the ten of wands reverse yeah There's this need, there's this need again, like to release this burden, right? And by you releasing this burden, for some of you, you might even, for some of you, you might actually have to either speak some kind of truth or twist some kind of truth in order to just be like, you know what, whatever, like something like that, maybe even, okay? Uh, for some of you, this, this Ace of Swords reverse is giving me some kind of maybe even a harsh communication. Maybe, maybe watch out for becoming a little bit too harsh, maybe a little bit too expressive, um, in your authentic truth, because maybe sometimes that could lead to some kind of, um, like energy or, 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 or experience that won't be of the best for you, okay? Because I feel like you can be in this King of Pentacles energy, like like be kind of a little bit, I don't want to say closed off, but like like maybe emotionally or, or energetically a little bit more closed off, okay? Um, not necessarily with love or with people, just like energetically more in your shell or something like that, more protected, more stable um, or something like that. Uh, but, but like I feel like when you're in that space, don't become too hard or too cold or something like that, okay? Because I feel like once you start getting into the space of like um, kind of like not giving a fuck, kind of like not um, like not feeling the energies of other people anymore, it's going to make you, it's going to give you the sense of like, like, okay, wow, like you're going to release. But for some of us, it, it might be in a release that's a little bit cold or a little bit harsh sometimes, okay? So just be aware of that, I feel. 
<clears throat> it's kind of like, like, say you want a bad bitch, baby, now you have it, now you got a bad bitch, show me you can handle this. It's like, it's like, like, it's almost kind of like a trauma response in a way. Like once you get your freedom or something, once you get your, uh, once you escape the, 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 um, the abuser, it's almost like you kind of like hawk eight, you kind of like go all the way into your freedom and you kind of, you know, um, like you might have never said anything to anybody. And all of a sudden, somebody just comes to you and you're like, oh, hi. And you're like, what the bad up do? You know, that's the kind of energy I'm talking about. So just be aware of that pendulum. Anyway, okay, let's get the Oracle card. Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. So definitely, we have a lot of warrior energy here again, like nine of wands twice and the warrior and the sun again. Yay. Um, yeah, you definitely went through something here. You're definitely going maybe still through something. But again, I feel like you're walking away from that. I feel like you have been standing strong. And maybe that's why you can walk away. I'm even being told to tell you, like, like be grateful that you're able to walk away or something like that. 11-11. Be grateful that you're able, that, that you're like still standing or something. I don't know why that's coming because all of a sudden the sword of Damocles is hanging over my head. Um, uh, it's almost like maybe there was some kind of like danger or something. Uh, but you like made it or you did the thing or you stood your ground. You stood strong. You were fearless or something. Okay. Um, yeah. So don't, just don't be, get too hard and like, like, like walk, like, 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 don't, don't be afraid of walking away as well. Don't be afraid of releasing this warrior vibe. This, uh, not, not that you're not going to be fearless and strong, just fighting battles i feel like that aren't yours or that you no longer need to fight okay that's good thank you so much collective that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one bye 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 bye